Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Toppy Tackle. My take for today is on the NBA rule that refs simply don't call, lane violations on free throws, and how James Harden is one of the biggest culprits of this nearly every free throw he shoots. According to Rule 10, Section 1, Part D of the NBA rulebook, the free throw shooter may not cross the plane of the free throw line until the ball touches the basket ring, backboard, or the free throw ends. For this video, I examined all 39 attempted free throws by Harden over the first four games against the Warriors. This is a small sample size compared to his league-leading 858 regular season attempts, but after he shot 88% on those regular season attempts, he didn't make any major changes to his routine. Out of Harden's 39 free throw attempts over the first four games of this series, he's committed a lane violation on 29 of them, or 74.35%. Now you may say, that's not nearly every free throw, but the ones in which he did not commit a lane violation on were really close about a millisecond or two away from being a violation when looking at his foot and the flight of the ball. I'm also taking crossing the plane to mean that Harden's foot is planted in front of the free throw line. If that's not the case and he simply has to cross the free throw line before the ball makes contact with some part of the basket, then he does it 39 out of 39 times. Now, I'm not saying that this is the reason why the Warriors have lost games in this series. This is not me making an excuse for them. You may also think that I'm nitpicking, but I just don't see why Harden has to constantly cheat on his free throws considering how accurate of a shooter he is. Take examples from Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. They're both great shooters, and they don't constantly commit lane violations like Harden. It's not just this series either. Harden was actually caught for consecutive lane violations on free throws during a regular season game at Cleveland back in November. Also notorious for getting away with lane violations in the past is LeBron James. An entire article was actually posted on it, which keyed in on his constant lane violations during the first round of the 2018 NBA playoffs. He was looking to increase his free throw percentage, and it worked as he went from 72% shooting from the stripe in the regular season to 82% in that first round series. A couple years ago, there was an article in the Washington Post on how Celtics guard Isaiah Thomas committed constant lane violations that weren't called. From that article, Steve Javi, who spent 25 years as an NBA referee and now serves as an officiating analyst for ESPN, told the Post, it's one of those rules where as an official, you're thinking, what advantage did the guy really gain from it? He shoots it from behind the line and his foot steps into the lane. Well, to me, he didn't gain an advantage. And Javi also referred to Shaq in that article saying, he would shoot it, get off balance, and just like Isaiah Thomas is doing, his foot would go over the line and the ball would go in. Javi concluded that he didn't see the step over the line giving Isaiah or Shaq an extra advantage, but I beg to differ. It is part of the natural shooting motion to elevate and land in a place a bit more in front of where you started. Free throws take this away. You see, when I was younger, I was playing AAU basketball and I didn't have enough strength to shoot a free throw without jumping. Most of the time I would jump and land a little over the line to help my shot go in and the refs wouldn't have it. I'm serious. I got called for lane violations every time and it was one of the most frustrating things. But I'm just wondering, if the refs are going to call this at the AAU level, why aren't they calling it in the NBA? Again, this is just something that I noticed and I wanted to bring to y'all's attention. I'm not claiming it's the reason why Harden has made near 90% of his free throws in the series, but I do firmly believe that this gives him a slight advantage and he is breaking the rules at the end of the day. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should Harden be penalized for breaking the rules or is this just something that the refs are never going to call. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.